Okay, so I went to Michael's and I was on a quest for ribbons because I want to tie ribbons around the favors. These are the favors for uh, Georgetta's bridal shower that's on Sunday. And so I have like a whole box of these and they're like little tea tins because it's a tea party. <laughs> and it's gonna be really cute. I am convinced it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hit. It's gonna be a good thing. Um, and these are really cute, right? I got them on Amazon and like the little metal tins are just, I mean, they're cute on their own, right? But I thought just to dress them up a little bit, I would go to Michael's. Why are there so many color options? And it was a mess over there. They had so many options. But I landed on this ribbon here. It's kind of a little bit wider and it does have wire in it. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. And then I went to HEB and I got some stuff and I got some ingredients for this, what is this even called? It's like chocolate fluff, but it is low carb. Doing the low carb thing. It's been going well this week. Today is day one of my period, so I'm not feeling so hot, but I am feeling so much better than I was all this week before and definitely the week before because I was like dead sick. But today is like my first day of like getting ready, like putting on makeup and everything and it feels so good. I swear, makeup heals me. Anyway, so I'm gonna make this chocolate fluff Stuff. Now I've seen some comments and people think that I'm doing keto and I'm not doing keto, but I am doing low carb. And since like keto is like the trendy thing or not, you know what I mean? A lot of the recipes that I end up finding are keto. So this one is like a keto recipe. I don't know, let's see if I can mess it up. And I'm finally gonna use my hand mixer that my sister gave me. Isn't it so pretty? It's like a violet. Okay, I'm so scared that this is about to be like another pepper shaker episode from last week. If you saw that, that was a disaster. And I'll have you know that I actually still ate that breakfast. Cause I just like, I didn't want to throw away all those ingredients. It's not so bad. Woo! Okay, it got everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh whoops. Okay, focus. I could have never pictured myself doing something like this. I don't know, six months ago? Like cream cheese? Ooh, I don't know why, but this is just, this is not really my kind of food. <laughs> but you know what? I'm giving it a chance. I'm getting into it. I'm digging in. I've been to the grocery store like more this week than I've ever been in my life. That's not true. I just never got the hang of it with cooking and you know what? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Woo! No, my camera is about to die. So, Armed with my handy dandy hair dryer, I have been attacking these tea tins because they all have these little labels on them. I guess Amazon puts them on there, but if you just hit it with the hair dryer for a second, it allows you to peel it right off. And so all of these are done. They're I always feel like such an extravaganza when I wear this robe first thing in the morning. And my eye bags are like, on another level today why why i guess it's because of that little like whipped dessert i only ate half of it just like i was supposed to good job leanne too bad i don't have white fuzzy slippers Ugh, my backyard looks disgusting ever since it was frozen for like a week all my grass just died hi Boonan. are you having a good morning already all right, revolutionary best cook ever. Oh, I don't know if I can actually do this with one hand. Ooh, on this plate that is exactly the size of the tortilla. Oh no, it kind of came out too small. So this is my little like breakfast taco thing. It's just like egg, spinach, and sausage. I didn't put cheese on it. Ooh, kind of forgot the cheese. And then just like the little low carb tortilla. And I actually got new low carb tortilla options last night. That is so boring, I'm gonna stop talking about it. But I love this breakfast. I just pulled it together. I really don't know what this outfit is. I don't belong in this season at all. Oh no, how about we don't? 
Excuse me. Can you not? Like I was saying, I don't know who's like springtime mom I've become. I kind of love this outfit and I kind of feel like, who are you? Like, who do you think you are? Whatever. But right now I'm about to record a video. I've got to like bust this out. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to actually record a video. I haven't been able to record anything except for my weekend vlog last week uh, for like two weeks. It feels awful. It just feels so good to like cake my face up, curl my hair, even though my hair looks like really weird. I feel like we're almost having like a big Texas hair flashback right now. Um, but I'm loving it. I am like living it up. Except I don't have any lipstick on because I'm about to have a snake. I'm gonna have a Quest Bar. This is a chocolate brownie flavor and I've fallen in love with this flavor lately. I was kind of like getting over Quest Bars. They're not good. I don't know, I was at the grocery store yesterday and I had some in my basket and the girl next to me was like, hey, like are those Quest Bars good? And I was like, yeah. And then I was thinking, I was like, it really depends on what you're comparing it to. If you're just comparing this to a Snickers bar, no, it's not good. It's like chewy, whatever, but it's sweet and it doesn't taste like fake sweet, which is great. You don't want that, but I gotta tell you, and I actually put this on Snap and IG story, but like it's changed my life. It's made me so happy. And this is not an on the go trick, but Grant told me, or he suggested, that I microwave my Quest Bar and try that out. Cause we were talking about how they can sometimes get like a little bit tough. Not not fresh, but like just a little harder than you'd want it to be. And you just like pop it in the microwave. And I was like, why didn't I not think about this before? I love microwaving things. <laughs> I told the lady at HEB, really? I hate this tripod so much you're supposed to be on my team it's like it's like a little brick one thing that i think people have like problems with with like going on a diet or trying to change something for your health it's like they're like well does it taste good or do, it doesn't taste like this alternative thing which is like obviously better clearly better like is this as good as like a like homemade brownie why would you expect that? But what's better about it is it's not killing me. You know what I mean? So it's worth it. I'm talking a big game right now, but just wait. Like I'll, you know, who knows? I'm doing pretty good though. So wait, look. Yes, I'm getting distracted again. See, it's all like soft and it kind of bubbles up in there. It's so much better like this. Ooh, it got a little harder. Okay, did I even show you last night? It's very cream cheesy. I could see how people that are doing like full keto, like full on under 20 carbs a day kind of situation and they haven't had real sugar in a million years, they would love this. This would be like the treat of their lives. Actually, I really like this stuff. I don't know what I was talking about. Last night, I wasn't loving it. Tonight, I'm really loving it. Maybe it's a difference of like letting it set in the refrigerator overnight. I got my big Texas hair, my fat chocolate goo on top of a microwave Quest bar. Oh. Betty Crocker, watch out. What has my life become? <laughs> I'm finally sitting down to record. Oh my gosh, I get in a little teaser about what the video is. Ah! I really hope you guys are as excited about this video as I've been. I don't think it's gonna come out this week. It's probably gonna come out the next week. I don't really know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey everyone, today I have... All right, so I just got done with Georgetta's fitting. She picked up her dress last weekend. I talked about it in my vlog. I was like so sad that I couldn't be there, but her dress looks gorgeous on her. And this is like the first of, I think three fittings. I had no idea that people do that many fittings, but I mean, I guess there's just a lot of different things to tweak and perfect. And I got to see her earrings that she chose and those are also absolutely gorgeous. They look like red carpet earrings it's amazing and right now i don't really feel like going back but i think i have to because grant and i have our premarital counseling at four o'clock really honestly i have things i need to do i need to work on my e-visa for india Woo! like i need to do that right now so i'm gonna be good i'm gonna go home and do it I actually already listened to all of this one, but I kind of want to listen to it again because there's no more episodes available. And I have listened to this so 
fast. Savannah on Twitter told me to listen to it and I've listened to the whole thing in the past three days. But it's like a weekly episodic kind of thing so I have to wait a whole nother week for more. It's horrible. You know what, I think I'm officially changing my tune about this outfit. I don't know if the black bag really works with it, but I think I feel good in this. I, I think the addition of the cozy sweater and also my holographic drinky cup, it just completes the look. Oh, and of course, my fringy boots. Gotta love them. I'm your new mom. There are no rules. So I was at home for a little bit and did my Skype call with Grant and I also did my e-visa for India. Finally, that just keeps getting like rolled over on my to-do list. And we also talked about hotels, like hotel blocks for the wedding. Grant's mom has been super helpful and like made this whole spreadsheet and stuff and so we're like narrowing down options. That also feels good. That is something that I just like totally not thinking about. But now I'm on the way to meet up with my parents and my sister and my brother-in-law for dinner. Pepper. Oh yeah, Dad, come here. Are you checking me out? She's moving fast. He's so excited. Oh, you wanna fight? This is Pepper. This is Kristen and Darren's new doggy and she's very sweet. Oh, mangy mutt. Look at this. Franny's losing weight. She's on a diet. Oh, what a good girl. Check it out. My mom made a. Did you say it's lemon buttermilk? A lemon buttermilk pie. Good thing I've been saving up my carbs all day. Here is a, the project. You remember, I got all of those little labels off last night and I told my dear mother that tonight I needed to do these ribbons. It's really, it's really just like 15 ribbons, but I had to like teach myself how to do <laughs> these like perfect bows as a latent life skill, okay? So my mom said she would help me and I'm also enlisting Kristen because I'm here. And I gotta do this because it's tomorrow. Homework is due. In pan. That's perfect. Go dry in Atlanta because it was. turn on a red I don't think that's a lot so I am on the way to the bridal shower I'm early because we have to do like all the setting up and everything here's my dress this is what I decided on I had a poll on Instagram stories because this is like part of like an Amazon thing the poll ended up being 50 50 like almost the entire time, the whole like 24 hours. And so I ordered both. One of them didn't fit as well as the other. So that made the decision pretty easy. Unfortunate warning, I'm not really gonna be like vlogging during this event because I need to be present. I need to do the thing. I need to be like maid of honor, do my, do my duties. And, um, but I'm really excited. I'll try to show you like details or something. I'll show you something, you know, you know I will.
shower was a super success. Everything went perfectly. I'm so glad. All the food was great. The drinks were great. The game went well. For some reason, I got kind of nervous. I like presented the questions to her. Actually, I don't even remember if I explained this to you. We were doing the like not yet newlywed game and I like came up with some questions, stole some questions online, kind of morphed some questions. He sent in his answers and then I asked her the questions and be like comparing them. I don't know, it's a pretty common like bridal shower game, I think. I liked it and it's also like you don't have to like involve everyone. It's not too cheesy, but it's cute. I don't know, I feel like it's like the perfect, the perfect game. <laughs> If I do say so myself. Okay, like I was saying, I am 0% a public speaker. I know sometimes people are like, what? As like you talk in front of a bunch of people all the time, you're on YouTube. Like, no, it is not the same at all. And for some reason I got like kind of a lot nervous at the beginning, just like ans asking her the questions and like reading out his qu his answers. Like it was ridiculous. I loosened up pretty quickly, but like I was, I was taken aback by being nervous. The real story is that the shower went well. I feel so good about it, but obviously Obviously, like whenever you're like preparing and like it's almost like a project or like a presentation and then it was kind of over in the middle of the day so I feel like I'm on a roll so I wanted to get something else done but like not at my house because I felt like I was put together so I'm going over to Ulta making that return I'm also making a return at Nordstrom but I have to like hurry because it's Sunday and everything closes early I am still like baffled by like how good it feels to just like have makeup on my face I'm addicted Ah, what happened here? I didn't really mean for this to happen. Of course. Luna Bean! Oh, she's going crazy! Ah! Ooh, woo, 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 woo. She's such a happy girl. Oh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh, <gasps> good girl. No, no, no. I said it. She has a very hard time being her own little person. Stay. Stay. Separate. Separate people. I have to interview you, Luna. I just went to return things and exchange one thing. Why did I buy things? Why did I come back with bags with new things? Tell me why. <laughs> Is this the answer to all my problems? Mm, I think so too. I feel like I've kind of been on a roll of productivity uh, for the past few days, two days at least, which is great. That's a pretty good role for me, especially after a few weeks of feeling like I was not, I could not get anything done and I was like so sick and so stuck and so sad. <laughs> Traveling way too much and um, I actually don't have any travel plans until mid-February and that feels really good. I really like traveling. I don't know, I've been thinking about it and I'm like, you need to be thankful for this period of your life. Yes, it's really hard. Yes, it's just difficult to live whenever you're having to travel so much, but this is a necessary part of life and I'm probably gonna look back on it and be like, that was kind of awesome. Even though right now I'm like, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm not really dying, I'm okay. I feel so much better than I did. I'm still coughing a little bit, which kind of worries me because I'm finally done with my antibiotics. Can I be all the way well? That would be great. Another thing about the diet, about the low carb, situation today i did not do a good job and i kind of knew that i was going to do that it was like it's kind of like a set menu basically and you, you saw you saw what we were having and it was like a lot of carbs she just gets me <laughs> do you not like him okay it's much later it's super late I really need to go to bed. I got sucked into a really, really long phone call with Grant. That makes it sound like that was like not consensual. I participated willingly in a long phone call with Grant. Now I'm really tired. <coughs> I need to be up early. But today was a good day and to, this was a good weekend. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm glad you're here. I love you guys. All of your comments on last weekend's vlog were great and I appreciate them. I, my mouth is getting stuck on my stupid Invisalign. Oh, I'm so done with Invisalign. Like I'm not done obviously, but I'm just ready to be done. <laughs> Thanks, I love you, bye.